Hello friends, once again, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, in this series on LIN protocol, let's discuss now some of the advantages and disadvantages of LIN protocol. The main advantage of using LIN over a more robust communication protocol like CAN is its simplicity. The LIN interface is a simple and low cost and can be implemented with minimum readily available components. The single wire implementation contributes to the low cost and ease of implementation. And due to its cell synchronization method, there is no need of external oscillator. The low speed and single wire LIN bus helps to mitigate electromagnetic interference. And the deterministic nature of the communication scheme allows predictable message frames. Since the entire network is managed or controlled by the master node, if the network is built well, ideally there will not be any collision among the messages. The development effort will also be reduced since there is no need to implement a collision detection mechanism. Friends, here when I say LIN is a collision free network, it is in terms of only master can initiate the communication and slave node just respond to that which was not the case for CAN communication, where any node can initiate the communication. So we need a robust system to handle collision and arbitration in CAN. Though in LIN, there is one type of frame called event triggered frame, for which multiple slave may respond. In that case, collision might occur among those messages. The master node should handle this collision by switching to alternate scheduling table. We will talk more about this while discussing various types of LIN frame in upcoming session. Apart from the main advantages, these are also valid advantages of LIN. Let's see some of the disadvantages now. There are two major disadvantages of using LIN protocol. One is related to the communication speed. Because the communication speed is slow, LIN is not suitable for any safety critical application. And the other major disadvantage is with respect to master-slave concept. The problem with this kind of setup is the master controls the whole network. And if the master fails, the whole network fails. In the scheme where all nodes can act as a master, this problem does not happen. There is one more disadvantage of LIN we can consider. The nodes in the network are not plug-and-play nature as they are in CAN network. To make a node added into the system, there must be some changes needed in the master node application to communicate with the new node. So largely LIN is preferred where all nodes are predefined. So in nutshell, after discussing LIN advantages and disadvantages, we can say that LIN is not a full replacement of CAN bus. But the LIN bus is a good alternative where low cost are essential and speed and bandwidth is not important. Typically, it is used within subsystem that are not critical to vehicle performance or safety. So friends, here we come to end of this video. Please share your feedback on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel techvedas.learn for all upcoming update. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.